Lymington Quay has been home to fishermen for many generations. Today, there are just 12 commercial fishing boats that operate from here. Wayne Gross was born in the town and started fishing with his father as a child. At 16, he was offered his first job as a fisherman. He became a boat owner in 1989 and now skippers the one he built for himself and named Sam Tory after his daughters Samantha and Victoria. In the winter, Wayne fishes for oysters, but in summer, it's lobsters and crabs that he's after. I think you've got to enjoy fishing, you know, to do it. I mean, especially now, you wouldn't be doing it for the money. It's, it is a way of life, and that's it, you know. My boat's a Kingfisher 26, and I um, fitted it out. My, my mate gave me a hand in that and built it and launched it in 98, so it's four years old now. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Oh, this time of year, it's lovely, you know, because you get up in the morning, like I said, and there's no one about, and you can go out there and get the sun rising over the island and that. It's really nice, yeah? A nice flat day, you can't beat it. Well, in the summer, I mainly go about five, and I'm back in by 12, one o'clock, something like that. But in the winter, then, we're, we're working longer hours. We're doing sort of 10, 12 hours then. I prefer fishing from, say, May to August, September, because the weather's good and it's nice, you know. The sun's up all the time, usually. So that, that's the best time of year for me, rather than the winter months. This year, it's not that brilliant, because I don't know whether it's because of the spider crabs, but there seems to be a lot of spider crabs and the lobsters don't seem to be moving very much. Right, well, I'm baiting the pot at the moment, and actually, we're using piranhas now where there's a shortage of scad but whether it's any better I don't know I think the teeth are frightening the lobsters off that's a good size one for this area normally they're just sort of borderline stuff here just sizable so that is a good one you couldn't beat that on a plate with a nice bottle of wine I've got two girls they have been out a few times if the weather's really nice. Oh, I don't think they're ever become official women or whatever. We've got a beach hut and when the kids are on holiday, we truck on down there in the afternoon and that when I'm off and the wife and we'll sit outside the beach hut with a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich. Yeah, it's lovely.